Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I got uh, something different and exciting. As you can see, this is my Big 20. This is a gift from my friend uh, Mark Josaitis. And uh, he just told me, you know, you need to learn more about other computers, you know. Mark told me that he reached out for his friend uh, Bobby Walker. Bobby is a retro computer enthusiast too. And he has some really rare and exciting things. So he got this for him who passed it to me. This is a super disk drive. I've never seen this, of course, because this is Commodore. But um, I, I read about this and it's pretty awesome. First of all, it's kind of rare. It's a big, this is metal, bare metal. So it's very hard and uh, heavy. It's a disk drive for the PET, Big 20, Commodore 64 and Commodore 128. So today we're gonna test it. So I am excited and uh, I wanna play with it. So let's... First of all, I wanna show you the, the back of it. It has a fuse, the on and off button, but it has two, three, three connectors. This top part, the bottom part, and this center one, I honestly don't know what kind of connectors are this, but of course, Mark uh, got me a, a cable for, for the other connectors. So he told me that this is for the, com the Commodore Big 20. So I got it and this connects here. Um, it should just get in, yeah, there it is. And of course the power. So it's uh, it's pretty very you know, it's huge but it's bare bones it's normal it's uh, it's a floppy drive that's here. What I did is also I went with my Apple sauce and went online look for a disc image for Big Twenty and I made a, a disc uh, for I think it's a, a magazine that has a lot of programs for the Big Twenty. So we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna put this over here. I gotta connect the power supply that's here. Oh, and by the way, Mark gave me a bunch of cartridges that we're gonna test also. So let's do that too. Oh, it was on. Let me turn it off. Okay. All right, for starters, I just turned on my prison monitor because it takes a long time to, to start up. And, um, I was trying to to learn about this and there's not too much information online about the floppy drives and the big 20s. Uh, the information that I found are for the Commodore drives. And um, honestly, I, I couldn't find anything that was really, you know, uh, related to this. Only one, si one website had uh, the super disk with the two drives. And it was, I think, uh, being used with a uh, 128. So anyway, uh, I say, well, I'm going to look for for videos on this. And guess what? The first video that I found was from my friend Rudy, from Rudy Retro Intel. So I was very happy and very excited that I I knew somebody that knew about this. So I reached out to him because uh, honestly, I, I tried to connect it, so I didn't just waste your time and uh, just tell you, oh, I don't know what to do here. So uh, the, the thing is that when you connect it and you turn on the big 20, you got to put a load command. And I tried the load command for about two hours before giving up. And then I reach out to, to Rudy. Rudy started helping me and yeah, he said, you got to do a, a load, uh, blah, 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 eight. And I think eight is kind of a port in, in the big 20 world, but it didn't work. So I tried seven, nine, six. I, I, I got, I tried almost everything. And he told me, no, no, it's from eight to 11. So you got to try those. So finally I went to 10 and it did something, but I didn't do anything after that because I said, you know what? I'm going to do it on the video. I, at least I, I know what to do over here and I'm going to, I'm not going to waste time for my viewers. So let's start. First of all, he told me that you need to first power up the big 20 and then you power up the drive. 
there's a drive. And then what you gotta do is you gotta type load, and I've done this so many times that now I know it by heart, and quote, dollar, quote, comma, and then the port number. And it is 10. Let's do that. And now it's working. It's searching. Find not found? Whoa, hold on. Okay, so um, I read a little bit and it's supposed to be reading from the disk. Oh, was this open? Oh my God, maybe it was open and didn't read because of that. Let me try it again. <laughs> Could be. Shift, dollar, comma, 10. Let's try it. Or oh, maybe didn't need to do that space. Let's do load. Hmm, this is weird. Let's do it again, let's turn off. Turn off, turn on. And wait until it comes up and turn on. Load. Comma, 10. <laughs> okay, it says loading and ready. Now, how do I display what it does? It, it loaded, so let me check. Okay, I am reading online and this is weird because I, I think it's supposed to show me the directory information, the directory listing. It says load ready and I put run, see if something run, it says error in zero. I don't know how to list anything. Oh. There's something. Oh, there you go. Um, how do I go up? Boop, boop, boop. Should be like this, maybe. Yeah, let's go. Oh, file address fast new maestro. So it, there's something in the in the drive, as you can see, and it's ready. Um, <clears throat> let me see something else. I got another floppy with. It says. Quick write for the C64. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is the only Commodore thing that I have, so let's try this. Okay. What? Can you hear the sound? It's, jeez, it's really, <laughs> I don't know, I may, may need to open it and, and loop it a little bit, but yeah, it makes a lot of sound, a lot of noise. Let me turn off, turn off again, turn on. Turn on again. <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. It's huge. It's noisy, but it works. You know? Um, let's do it again. Load. Comma. 10. And I don't know. There's no markings, nothing. So I don't know what the 10 comes by or why, why is this 10 and not 8 like the other drives. But hey, whatever. Okay, it's ready, so list, okay, okay, so there's programs, quick write, so I should do run kw maybe, let's try that, run kw, hmm, well, I'm not sure what to do with this, but at least I know it's working. It's loading things and there's information over here. So I am very happy about it. I'm gonna have to, to do some more uh, information gathering. And I, I honestly, I want to talk to my friend Rudy and see if we can do a, a program together uh, to see if, if we can play with this because this is, uh, a little bit complicated for me. I mean, big 20s, I never used one in my life. Look that very promising. And with this, I am very, very excited to get more and more things. Another thing that I'm very happy about is that I was able to write some programs in this floppy and it read it using applesauce. So basically I, I'll be able to, to load anything I want, any games or any applications for big 20.
directly, you know, if I can download the disk image, of course, I can, I can write it immediately and, and start using it. So that's uh, excitement. So, okay, let's do this because I, I don't think I can do too much right now. Let's just do uh, see what the cartridges have and then we'll go from there. This is weird. When I turn it off, it makes a sound, but I'm happy because that means it's communicating. <coughs> Whoops. So, before I, I show anything else, I had a 16K memory expansion card in the... Just because um, Mark told me that I, I may need it to do this. So, let's check Avenger. Let's see what it is. This is my, my new Big 20 because I never use it, so it's it's hard to to put cartridges in, so it's... Anyway, another thing that I'm not... Wow, look at that. There you go. Another thing that I need to get, it's um, a joystick for this. F1 to begin. Nice. Does it have audio? It should, and this, this monitor should have audio. Mm. Uh oh. I put the volume to maximum and I don't hear anything, so maybe I need something else. Uh, the cable has audio and video out, and I, I thought I, I would get audio, but I cannot hear anything here. Anyway, let's turn it off. Let's do another cartridge. So we have a Avenger that is basically um, an Invaders. Let's see, Ra Radar Red Rat Race. I always am afraid to, to push things in because I, I don't know if it's gonna break anything. So that's why you see me struggling. Oh, nice. Big rat race. F1. Everything is F1. That's good. No sound, that's weird. Okay, we got rod, rod rays. Let's see what else we have. Mole attack. They look cool. They look really nice. <coughs> Graphics are great. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Like guacamole. Okay. Very nice. I'm beginning to like this, so I'm gonna be begin to do more videos about Big 20 now that I have one. Hmm. Oh, CBM Basic. Hold on. Adventureland. Why does it go to CBM Basic? Hmm. Maybe this cartridge doesn't work. That's the only thing I can I can think about. And the last one I have, it's actually pushing the money drop, is Omega Race. Let's do that. All the way in. Turn on. Oh, nice! Look at those graphics. Wow. I need to get a, a joystick for this. Hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's. I need a joystick for this. But it's a little bit like uh, Lunar Attack, or I don't remember the, the space something. Nice. Wow. I'm excited. Well, I got a nice setup now. And I'm definitely happy that I figure out at least how to, to make the disk drive work. I need to get some more applications and some more information regarding this. Uh, as I don't really know this, I just wanted to test it in front of you guys. And uh, thank again, Mark Josaitis and uh, his friend, uh, Bobby Walker. 
that he was very nice to get me or get him this amazing drive and uh, definitely this is the first of a series of um, um, episodes that I'm gonna do about the uh, super disc drive I want to play a lot with it I want to show it off and maybe uh, I'm gonna have uh, friends with me talking about it and what to do with it how to take advantage of it and maybe a little history of this super disc drive never heard about it and just read that it was really rare but you can use it also in different Commodore machines so looking forward for that well this was a quick one but a very good one so please if you want if you like this please subscribe share uh, please like it a lot so we can do more of this stuff and uh, see you next time